Ben, why do you keep having your gun out? Put that away. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Deus Ex the Fool. I'm Samurai TX, and let's listen to this. On the part of the so called Augmented 1%, sources inside Humanity Front tell me that many of their members are furious because stocks and corporations that keep the augmentation industry alive continue to rise. Indeed, market growth for support companies such as Versalife, who holds the patent for anti rejection drug Neuropazine, shows no signs of slowing. This is encouraging even more pharmaceutical companies to throw their hats into the augmented ring. Sapphire Biotech, the first such newcomer to devise a low-cost version of an anti-rejection drug, should release its IPO in a matter of days. This is Eliza Kazam, reporting to you live from Pikus. You keep doing your job. Well, when we last left off, um, we just did some stealth and we couldn't get to the slums, but now we will, eventually. So we're going back. We're going back this way because we need to get to the slums to meet um, Doctor Arahujo. I right, keep put, stop. Stop with the gun, then. Right. Let's see. We can. Um, we've already looked around here. So yeah, let's just go to the slums or make our way to the slums. Last time we tried making our way to the slums, let's just say we got denied by some sort of um, issues. But now we are back here. Seriously, Ben, put away your gun. We don't need to use the stun gun yet. We will eventually use the stun gun when we um, when we need to get somewhere, but right now is not the ideal situation to do it. Right, so... Let's keep going. I mean, I would like to dance. We'll be back in Nightshades eventually. I'm pretty sure we will, but for now, our priority is to actually go to the... Um, Let's hack this first, but our priority is to go to the slums. Alright, so we're going to hack it because we don't have the passcode, so yeah, let's hack. We're going to start by going to... Hmm... Here? I mean, that seems risky because it's called spam. By that, it will likely alert the um, people to stop us from hacking. I called it, so now we've got 16 seconds. Right, so we need to be very quick here. Time's running down rather quickly. And I'm moving my um, controller very quickly. Right, come. Oh, look, it's catching up. But we, we should beat it on time. Because it's about to hack there. By the time it hacks there, we're done. Thank you. So now let's see what's next for us. Right. Let's open this. And let's grab some stun darts. Ooh, we got more ammo for our stun gun. Now we're going to close this door and pretend we did not come here. And we can't push that because we need to upgrade our augmentations, but we're not going to do that yet. So let's go to the slums. Alright, so now we are at the slums. We couldn't get here before, but now we can. It's about time you pull away your gun, Ben. I don't need to keep repeating myself. Alright, so now let's go look for the bins because money and bin beer. Who says bin beer couldn't be tasty? Am I right? Bin beer. Your vital needs of quenching your thirst, so so they say. Bin beer has limited edition flavors, like flies and leftovers. Hard times, Joey. I'm sorry times are bad for you now. You know the many troubles I experienced when I was young and stupid like you. I should have work for you next month. But no promises. Meantime, if you have some nowhere else to stay, you can always use the storage garage on Rojo Street, and you can open it by entering 6009. It's not Itana, but you don't have to worry about... Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. You don't have to worry about getting rolled or with uh, by anyone. Maybe you should sell your pocket secretary. I'm sure it's something. Alvarez. Alvarez, I know you said you'd hit me back this week, but I'm desperate. Pana, me mama kicked, got kicked out of her place when he was only letting me crash there for a few weeks anyway. Me mama is staying with her sister, who hates me even worse than my stepdad did. Yikes. You can tell this guy is not in the best of places. I've been crashing on the ba beach or on benches or whatever. It's as bad as it's ever been, friend. If you could do anything for me, 
anything, I'll do it. You know I will. Joey. Joey's in a very desperate situation, and it's kind of sad that he is. But, we will have to suffice. We can't hack that because it was too high. So, we gotta find an alternative route, which we will. We're gonna be exploring a lot in this game. Hello, you. Um, but first, let's start looking this bin. Ooh, Cyber Boost Energy Bar. Nice. Keep walking, Ark. You mean welcome here. Clearly, we are loved here. So, we're just going to walk the opposite direction. Shut your mouth. But we're clearly going to walk in the opposite direction. And let's just keep going. Alright, so we're going to go this way. Hmm. Just looking around. We're hoping not to get in trouble by these um, people. What about you? Hello? Alright, man. I'll leave. I'll leave. Jeez. You guys are totally going to get what's coming to you. Because I will find you all. And I will sneakily punch you to sleep. Right. Hello. You take the dog, you get sick, and she comes, man. She comes, and they never see you again. Who is she? She's coming, man. She's coming for all of us. Who is she? She's coming, man. She's coming for all of us. So clearly he's intoxicated by drugs and is hallucinating, likely. I'm, that's what I'm taking from you, unless the she is something real. That is not a good place to sleep. If I was sleeping outside with the homeless, I'm not sleeping next to a trash bag full of flies. There's a doctor. Arias, Arujo, something like that. Runs a clinic around here. He might be able to help you. Oh, thanks for the tip. I'm going There's there. There's a nicer out clinic downtown. Mi hermano got work done on his legs there after he lost them in the service. Government pay for the whole thing too. Oh, isn't that nice of them? Alright, you're not gonna tell me anything else. These guys speak, the NPCs speak twice. I gotta remember that, you only can talk to them twice before they keep repeating the last dialogue that they spoke. Oh, wait, something's here. Oh, let's go down here. Let's be, oh, there's a little hole here, let's crouch, let's be a bit nosy. Where's this gonna lead us? Update Traveler. Right, we're not gonna go here just yet, because we need to do our main objective first. So, we're just going to go downstairs. Oh shit, that's a shame. Yeah, of course they do. Mm, I got nothing to say to you, man. you could just tell me so that I can try and get rid of them for you. You're sleeping. That's a warm place. What about you? Bulto. Unless you got some new balls. I don't got the time. Even if I did have new paws. You hear me? Unless you got some shit. You don't mean shit. I mean your manners wouldn't let me wouldn't have allowed me to give it to you. Don't know what you're on about. But you could tell me more. Which is true. But anyway, the lady behind me. If I did have Neuroprosine, you would be the last person I'd give it to because you're damn rude. I, I'm normally a generous guy, but if you're rude to me, I wouldn't give you anything. Oh, news bulletin. Exciting news in the medical field today. Researchers working for the Versalife Corporation announced that they have found a method of curing AIDS in mice using microscopic nanite robots. By identifying and destroying HIV virus particles, the nanites are able to stop the virus from replicating and begin the rejuvenation of T-cells needed to run immune systems. Amazingly, researchers were able to see increased strength in the immune systems of mice within days of treatment. The shocking speed at which the nanites are able to operate bodes well for nanotechnology in this early stage of development. But what does this mean for humans? How long until nanites are used to cure millions of infected people around the world? Versalife CEO Bob Page had this to say. At the current rate of development, we speculate that a cure for humans infected with the AIDS virus will be found within the next three to five years. The socio-economic repercussions of this discovery will be far-reaching, and I am so proud to be in any way a part to this contribution to humanity. We can only hope Mr. Page is right. This is Eliza Kazan reporting to you live from Pikus.
Nice, this news. No. That's a crazy arm you got there. Thank you. How many credits did you pay for it? I don't know, but we're going to take the beer, because I don't think you're drinking it. Thank you very much. Not that we're drinking it anytime soon. Hello, you. Those are some serious argumentation you are using. I know. Top great stuff. I am sorry. I don't mean to stare. It's just, I've never seen anything like that. Up close like this, I guess. That's okay. You can look as much as you want. I'm not really um, caring about it. You can observe as much as you want. But let's read. Because... We're going to talk about coping with DDS. Darrow Deficiency Syndrome DDS is the disruption of the neuroprosthetic junction in cybernetic augmentations, causing the patient's body to reject the org. Patients may find that they cease to have control of their augmented bodies, resulting in painful seizures. Uncontrolled use of augmentation abilities or even a full loss of augmentation. The only legally available treatment for DDS is neuroprazine, a compound that treats that treats the effects oops sorry that treats the effects of DDS by preventing the buildups of scar tissue around the junction it's available only by prescription and weekly doses are required to properly treat DDS Rizine, manufactured by Zafia Tech is the new alternative drug that is currently hoping to expand the consumer choice for DDS treatment and we have been hearing about Rizine quite a lot but I don't know if this is trustworthy, because I don't think people have tried what Rising does. There are a few practical steps one can pursue when Neuroprazine or Rising are unavailable. Ice packs can be used on sore orgs, and a variety of magnesium-based supplements can help relax the blood vessels in the brain, alleviating the throbbing pain of migraines that patients may experience during withdrawal. Pain may be felt in the forehead, temple, ear, jaw or around the eye. Some individuals may become overly sensitive to light, sounds or smells. Remember that there is no cure. If you are experiencing DDS, you must see a doctor or visit your nearest limb clinic. Well, unfortunately for you, we have to keep a low profile. Going to any clinic would get us compromised by um, the tyrants that are on track to find us. We will take these painkillers. Sorry, doctor. We will take this energy bar, Doctor. And if I get behind you right over here, I will take this cash. Thank you. I need it. <laughs> Alright, so that's a nice rainbow. So let's see. Anything in here? Uh, Ebook. Oh, we've already read about Praxis Software. As you can see, we didn't get 150 points for that, so I'm not reading it again. Let's take the beer, because I'm not sure you need it. You look like you're sleeping, so... You're not going to need it. And this hacking level is level 2. And this door is hard. So we won't be going there anytime soon. But what we will be doing is talking to you. Hello, Dr. Alahulo Alvarez. Yes, who are you? What do you want? I'm very busy. Dr. Araujo, a friend sent me. I heard that you might be able to help someone in my position. I might be able to help a lot of people. So out with it. What do you want? Well, we can pick the direct approach, but I don't think that will get us anywhere. Which is, I'm looking for a reliable supply of Neuroprazine. That's kind of um, straightforward, which we are, but I don't think that would get us anywhere. They say you have access to high-grade meds. We wouldn't want to be sly, because then we'll get the conversation nowhere. So right now, I'm going to pick Honest, because we are suffering from DDS, and we do need some Neuroprazine and some help. So let's be honest to this doctor, shall we? I'm suffering from DDS. If I don't secure a reliable source of Neuroprazine soon, my augmentations could kill me. Mm. By the looks of you, you're in the advanced stages of withdrawal. No wonder you're sickly. But unfortunately for you, I don't deal in neuropazine anymore. No pose is in short supply and the margins are just no good. Alright, so we can talk about the alternatives, because there is an alternative. But we can also talk about the shortages. So we're going to talk about the shortage, but there's something else. I heard that there was an alternative to neuropazine. We could talk about that, but we're not going to. We're just going to talk about the shortages to continue the conversation because we have heard stories about it being shortaged. I've heard about the shortages. VersaLife isn't producing enough of it to meet demand. It's not right, one company controlling the drug that so many people rely on. Ah, it's a sad state of affairs, Bama. But there is a new hope. A new drug has become available to replace neuropazine. From Zaphire Labs, it's called Rizine. 
You know what? We can demand about Rising. Rising, huh? Okay, I want Mom's supply to start with, but we want more information about it because we don't fully know what Rising truly does. Yeah, I don't think if it's I don't think it's been tested, otherwise it would be distributed. So let's ask about Rising. And is it like Neuropazine? Yes, in fact, it's virtually identical to Neuropazine, but cheaper and not made by Versalife. And believe me, Versalife is not very happy about that fact. They try to suppress it, keep it out of the lean clinics, try to sabotage the drug trials so that no one can get it. They want everyone to keep taking Neuropazine. So Rising isn't available legally anywhere? Not yet, Hefe. But it's only a matter of time before Sapphire has it approved by the WHO. Then I stop making money selling it. <laughs> right, so we can request Rising and ask for a month's supply, but we don't want to do that. I'm going to reject it. I mean, it's a cheaper option to Neuroprazine. Cheap options don't always work, so we're going to reject it. It's just like reality with any medicines. Cheap ones don't always work. Even when you're desperate, always go for the good ones, not the cheap ones. So we're going to reject, because we want Neuroprazine. I don't think so. I don't want to be pumped full of some knockoff street drug that hasn't been tested properly. It sounds like you need more help than I can provide. I can put you in contact with someone at Lim. I can't just walk into Lim. I mean, I don't want anyone to know who I am. I need to keep a low profile. That's why I came to someone like you. Someone like me? <laughs> Please, I am a very resourceful man. I have in my possession a Lim preferred client card linked to an anonymous RFID. Using this card, you can access all of the services of a limb clinic, including as much neuropazine as you can afford, while remaining safely anonymous. That's if you deserve it, of course. What do you want for it? Name your price. Answer me this. A man is cast adrift with no family bonds, no old friends, and no morals to guide his actions. What do you call him? That is actually a good question. So you can pick lonely, lost, or free. I'm going to pick lonely because that is the right answer for me anyway he's like a lone wolf so he sounds like a lonely man so it's kind of a lone wolf someone lost no that's just a matter of opinion and so is free which frees a man who is free to do anything he pleases warranted that's just an opinion and it's true to an extent but um, i'm gonna go for lonely because that's the one i feel comfortable answering because clearly is i'm not sure is just well i'm not sure you just don't answer we're gonna pick lonely so let's go ben Let's talk. Sounds like a lonely man to me. That may be. I will sell you the card for a small fee. A small fee? So what is the small fee? Please tell me. Oh, look, it's in my price range. 500 is actually very good. And if we decline, we're just going to be here all day. So, yeah, we got no choice but to accept. 500 credits. We do have about 700, nearly 800 credits. So what is there to lose? We might as well take it because we need it. Yeah. Very good doing business with you, Mr. Uh, well, I don't think I want to know your name. That's okay. Go see Camila Cardoso at the Lim Clinic downtown. She runs the place, and she can make anything happen. But I must warn you, she is a tough woman, so be polite. Oh, I will be polite. But I'm more thankful for you for giving me this card so that we can get Neuroprazine. Because we ain't going for no cheap um, alternative in Rising. If we do, then that will just make our adventure very pointless. So yeah, we need to go and get some Neuroprazine from um, Camila Cardozo. Very nice name, by the way. But that will be done in the next video. So when we come back, folks, on Saturday, Saturday there will be more Deus Ex to Fall. And we may have to do more quests, because there is a lot of side quests in the game. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Till next time, guys. Goodbye.